I'm just going to do a quick demo video today of kind of after hunt grooming. This is Ginny. She just came off the hunt field. She's got not a huge number of burrs, but it's kind of a lot of burrs on her. So I just thought I'd show, because I know there may be people coming to the hunt at Nationals who've never been to one. So I thought I'd just do a quick kind of video just showing what you might need to do afterwards. There's just as much grooming involved in a hunt as there is a dog show. You just do the grooming after instead of before for the most part. Um, Jenny has a pretty harsh coat, so this is going to be easier on her than it would be probably on some dogs, but it'll give you an idea anyway. So this is right off the field. If you have to put the dog away in a crate, things are going to set in and it's going to be harder to get stuff out. But I'm just going to start with a slicker brush, just kind of brushing the ends. Like I'm not going all the way down to skin, which you would normally want to do. I'm just trying to flick some of these little burrs out right now. At the same time, I'm checking for ticks, and I did just remove her Soresto collar. Tick control is not optional at hunts, and Ohio in the spring is probably gonna have a lot of ticks, so it's not the time to not use tick prevention, even if it's not something you use year round. So I'm just trying to flick some of the really obvious surface burrs off before I try to go any deeper here. You won't get everything this way, but you can get some. Yeah, so definitely bring a grooming table and grooming supplies to the hunt with you. All right, so I got definitely not everything, but I just got some of the worst stuff off here, which will make the rest of the process go a little bit easier. That's gonna take it comb to get up in her head. At one point on the field, I had to actually stop and move some of the burrs because she had her eyes stuck shut because she had so many. All right, so now we're gonna have to go a little deeper for the rest of the stuff. At this point, I'm gonna lather in quite a lot of leave-in conditioner. I don't think it matters so much what kind you use, use what you like, but just lather it in there. And use a lot of it. Sometimes you'll have big sticks you have to remove. She doesn't really have any of that. She's got more of these little tiny kind of annoying burrs. So I'm gonna lather that in there. And now I've got my comb and now I am gonna go all the way down and try to get everything out. This will take longer. While you're doing this is also a good time to check for ticks. Because even if you have prevention on, like that's just one comb full of burrs there to give you an idea. Hold up a second. Hold up a second, please. So I'm going all the way down to skin there, trying to just get as much out as I possibly can. And this part is going to take a while, so I'm not going to keep going with the video, but that will just give you an idea of first slicker brush to get the bad stuff and then go down deep to get everything. I usually do plan on bathing everybody as soon as I can after we get home from a hunt too because they roll in stuff and get kind of gross. So it's just good to plan on having the supplies and the time to do that. Definitely a good comb and a slicker brush and some leave-in conditioner. Definitely bring a grooming table. It's a good idea to have a set of grooming scissors with you too because sometimes there is stuff that you're just not going to get out any other way. But most of the time, especially if you go right off the field, you can work stuff out with just some simple grooming tools.